Thank you, Vista Ridge. The Palmer Ridge Bears have made a seamless transition from Class 3A to 4A as they won in Week 1 in convincing fashion on the road, mind you, 42-7. The grand plan for the Bears is to win a state championship in Class 4A, much like they did three times in Class 3A. The Bears playing the first home game of the night against Grand Junction, second quarter. L, uh, Palmer Ridge up 30 to nothing. Luke McAllister connects with Cameron Jones. Nice pick up there, same drive. Saxon Wright doing the right thing, right up the gut and into the end zone. Bears up 36 to nothing, still in the second. McAllister, who's going to go to CSU, finds Caden Dudley, who's going to Boise State, the best quarterback wide receiver tandem in the state. And then Dudley catches it, and he does the rest. He was not going to be denied. Look at the footwork. Somehow gets in. And Palmer Ridge, they go on to win tonight by a score of 49 to nothing. Discovery Canyon on the road taking on Lutheran. The Thunder chucking it around. Kenneth Pizon to Sam Janes, who gets behind the D. And he's got six. And then later on, Pizon going to create some time. Hooks up here with Trevion. Alicio, Alicio, almost gets caught in the soccer net. Thunder, though, fall 57 to 17. Rocky Ford and Florence from Husky Stadium, third quarter. Huskies with a big lead. Lagoose Nuss. Oh, man, there's no one near him. That kid can motor. And then the Meloneers. They finally get on the board here. Sean Gonzalez to Dresmond Reyes, who snatches it out of the air. Great hands. Huskies, though, roll 48 to 6. CA Foster Stadium was the place for Rampart and Mesa Ridge. Some big plays in this game. The Grizz forced to punt it away. Rand Butler picks it up. Is the Butler going to do it? Is Rand going to outrun everybody? He sure ran a lot. And Butler, a house call. Rampart goes up 14 0. The Rams D tough tonight. Noah Ramirez. Gets flushed out of the pocket. Dominic Via Piondo drops him for a loss. So Mesa would settle for the field goal. JJ Dickerson, the lefty, boots one. Mesa gets on the board there. Then Rampart going back to work. Cale Cormany gets the call, but he puts the piggy on the ground and Desmond Burton recovers for the Grizz. But Rampart's defense at it again. Eric Haslett gonna come up with the sack. And Rampart, they improved the 2-0 on the year with a 28-6 victory. Palmer Coronado from Gary Berry. Wait till you see this ending. First drive for the Cougars. Mitchell Nowlin to Mason Nietzsche. Nice pitch and catch there. And then same drive. Michi at it again. Huge hole, gets into the end zone. Coronado strikes first. Palmer's turn now. Carlos Moreno, the senior captain for the Terrors, hooks up here with Robert Clark. Nice gain, a first down, but the Terrors will be forced to punt. Low snap. Nick sells, sells out, and drops the punter for a big loss, and Coronado would capitalize. Nolan, gonna keep it. Not sure if he crossed the goal line, but Aiden Blanco, Johnny on the spot as he recovers for the touchdown. All right, here's the ending here. Palmer with the football, down a few points. Moreno finds Nate Johnner. Is he gonna score a walk-off? Yes, the Terrors would rally to win tonight, 26 to 24. Pueblo East in Canyon City, Jackson Herring hands it off to Brandon Harding, and then he throws it to Keenan King who almost loses his balance, stiff arm, whoa, and sheds another would-be tackler, gets in for the score, and that was the first score of the game. And then Herring finds Francisco Lantis, and Lantis is a big boy, and he likes to carry would-be defenders. Look at him. You can't take down Lantis. That was a big game, and then Orlando Mondragon almost takes it to the house, but Canyon City's never given up on the play. Nice tackle here. Canyon City 
they would go on to win this game tonight. Big win for them, 21 to 18. All right.